The kids were playing in the backyard and Thomas bit Carly, which gave mum an opportunity to step up. Because you bit Carly, you're going to sit in time out. She explained why he was on that bench and she walked away. This is him protesting. Pick him up, put him back. He got off it. She placed him back time and time again. <laughs> Mum was doing really good at the discipline, but then Dad walked in and I wanted to nip the possibility of him sabotaging this by getting him involved. Watch, watch, watch. I want Daddy. I want Daddy. You want Daddy? Place him straight back, John. Don't talk to him. Just place him straight back in time out. To support Mum with what she's doing. Okay, Shannon, if he gets off, I'd like you to take over now. It's just to prove a point here, okay? Shannon, there you go. Okay, nice work, John, nice work. When Dad sent Thomas back to the naughty bench, it certainly has given him a strong reminder that Mum and Dad are on the same page now. I'll see how Shannon does with it. If she has success with it, maybe I'll think about it. I'm still not a timeout guy. <laughs> Thomas put up a good fight, to say the least. I mean, we knew that was kind of going to happen. But Mum stayed focused, and after a couple of minutes, he stayed on that bench. It's good. The lesson that I learned from the first time out is the kids aren't ruling me, and I can outlast them. Perfect. Perfect, Mum. Mum is certainly feeling more competent to follow through with discipline now. Calm down, Mummy. We'll pick you up. John's probably still not a timeout guy, but that doesn't weigh heavy on me. I need control and I'm going to get control whether he wants to do timeouts or not. I'm there to be a mother to my children and if Mr. Krolikowski wants to come aboard, he can. It's up to him. You are doing what is right mm -hmm. and that's all that matters. 